pretty often when we call back home in Italy and talk to my mom, we want to know what she cooked. And this time she told us, sono andata nel giardino e ho visto una zucchina così grande. I found a huge zucchino that um, had overgrown. And she decided to put it to good use. Well, since she inspired us, we decided to make a vellutata di zucchine and check this big boy out. It was just hiding in our garden as well. Now we're just gonna cut it into big wedges like this and then into some smaller pieces. So we have some potatoes here, garlic, parsley. We have um, shallot here, some cayenne pepper, and a bit of uh, rosemary. Our pan has been preheating. Here is a bit of olive oil. The shallot goes in, as well as the garlic. And then here we chopped up two little cayenne peppers and put those in as well. And we're gonna let these just saute for a few minutes before we add the potatoes and the zucchini. Before I forget, we made a little package of rosemary, rosmarino, and we'll place that in there as well so the needles will not fall off. Let's add the potatoes, as well as the zucchini. We'll place this back in the fire. Let's pull it out. And oh yes, we're gonna add the broth, the chopped parsley. And now we have some chicken broth, but um, you could totally use some vegetable broth. Uh, chicken stock. And this goes back in not too long at all because things are already well cooked. We'll cover it up with a lid. Let me taste it for salt. Mm, perfect. Let's put this on and place it back in. I'm gonna try to put it in very gently so it doesn't spill and then we'll close the door. While the zucchini are finishing up we diced some bread. It was day-old bread and we put some rosemary and um, salt and olive oil on it. And this is gonna be absolutely perfect for our cream zucchini. It is so fun to be able to cook outdoors. And now let's peek inside. And oh yes, the zucchini are nice and tender. And now we'll be able to bring it inside and blend it up. Let's put our immersion blender down. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? Our little package. He needs to come out. And now we can go. Look at there. It's called vellutata because it is velvety. It is so beautiful and smooth. To top it all off, we're gonna add just a bit of heavy cream. And oh yes, we are ready to serve this. And here we go ready to serve this and in the summertime it actually is even good when it's lukewarm oh wow so nice and smooth now to top it off we're gonna still put a little drizzle of this heavy cream as well as a nice drizzle of olive oil in giro d'olio and then we're gonna top it off with these croutons. And we're gonna wish you un buon appetito.